So the concepts of aerodynamic center are really important when you are studying the stability and most people uh, like let's say they struggle to understand this concept of aerodynamic center. So as an aerodynamic center, yeah, we'll see. Let's take an aircraft. Not an aircraft, let's take a wing of an aircraft. Just the wing. Now, as the aircraft moves forward, the air is coming to the aircraft in this direction. Let's say this is our aircraft, correct? As the aircraft is moving forward, the air is coming from this direction. Now, so this would be the direction of a relative airflow to the aircraft. Now, this is the leading edge, this is the trailing edge. You draw an imaginary line joining the leading and trailing edge. This line is called as chord line, which uh, I don't want to represent, or let, let me represent. So this line would be the chord line of the wing. Okay, it's a straight line. Now, the angle between the relative airflow and the chord, this is called as alpha or angle of attack. Now, because of this certain angle of attack, the lift is generated which acts from center of pressure. Now, let's assume there is a place like um, which is very black, let's say a thar road or something in the aircraft path. And now, because of this, this will get hot when compared to the surrounding green grass or trees, correct? Around this place. Now, when this is hot, what happens? It will generate certain vertical currents you know, because the hotness will lead to less dense air and the less dense air will tend to rise up. When the air rises up, it will travel vertically because of less density. Now, if you see a vectorical diagram, this will be the vertical moment of air. This will be the horizontal moment of air. This one towards the aircraft, correct? So the resultant movement of air would be like this. So the, from the aircraft point of view, the aircraft is now receiving the air from this direction. You understand? Now in this case, if we represent, now the relative air flow in case one was like this. Now the relative air flow is like this. This is the new relative air flow. Now, do you see the angle of attack is the angle between the chord line, sorry, the chord line and the relative air flow. Now what happened to the angle of attack? The angle of attack has actually increased. Do you see? So this is alpha 2, alpha 1. So alpha 1 is less than alpha 2. Correct? Now you have studied, let's say this is a wing, this is a wing with higher angle of attack. Correct? The lift generated when angle of attack is less is from center of pressure from here. Correct? Now when the angle of attack increases, the CP from this place will move forward and the lift generated will be high. Correct? So in the second case, L2 will be more than L1 and the center of pressure will move forward. Why? Because the suction peak, na, it acts like this in this case. Now when you increase the angle of attack, the suction peak moves forward and the lift also will increase. The suction peak area will increase. We have seen that um, in, let's say, previous classes. Correct? So now, let's say this is uh, the initial thing which I would be drawing with the black color is L1. Now, the second thing which I will be drawing with the red color is from a point which is here because the CP moved forward, correct? And this is L2. Correct? So, alpha 1 is less than alpha 2. That means L1 will be less than L2. So, left is equals to half rho V square CL into S. Correct? So, angle of attack has increased. So, L2 will increase, will be more than L1. What is aerodynamic center, AC? Now, AC is a point on the chord of aircraft. So, so, on this point, on this chord line, there is a point called AC. Now, what is the importance of this? It is a point on the chord of aircraft about which the moment doesn't change even with change in angle of attack of aircraft or wing. Correct? Matlab, it's a point where around which the moment does not change. Let's see what is a moment. Here, in simple plane physics, moment is equals to force into distance, correct? 
Moment is like a work being done. I'll tell how it works. See, let's say this is a door. Okay. This is the hinge of the door, which is attached to the wall. This is the door handle. Now, if you have to open this door, generally you will push the door at the door handle. Correct. It will be easy to open. But try to open a door by pushing close to the hinge. You need a lot of force to open if you push the door at the hinge. Correct? You try it. Why? Because see, the moment is here. This is the hinge, na? This point is the hinge. So in the second case, let's say the first case is F1, second case is F2. In the first case, moment is F1 into from the hinge, this is the distance. Let's say X. X. Here X is more, so you need to apply less force. In the second case, you are applying force here where let's say Y by distance from the hinge. So because Y is less, you have to apply more force. This is called moment. This happens when you in and out open your uh, doors of your room. Correct? You try it now. This is called moment. Now, the moment should not change even with change in angle of attack of aircraft. What does it mean? See, let's say this point is your aerodynamic center. Now, this is like a hinge. Correct? This is like a hinge of a door. Now, let's say the first scenario where the aircraft was, uh, there was no gust of wind from bottom and it was generating lift. Now, lift 1 is a force which is acting on the wing at a distance, let's say x. Correct? Now, because of this, around this, here, wing ka kya moment hoga aisa? Kyuki, e to aerodynamic center hai. Let's say my knuckle is the aerodynamic center and the lift is acting from here. So, lift is pulling the aircraft from behind the aerodynamic center. So, the moment will be to put the aircraft nose down. So, let's say this moment generated by L1 is M1. You understand? Now, in the second case where the air was coming from the bottom or the angle of attack has increased, alpha 2 is greater than alpha 1 and the lift 2 is more than L1. Correct? But the moment will be same. You can see lift 2 even though it is at more distance, sorry, more at, even though lift 2 is more, the force is more, the distance acted, the distance at which it is acting from aerodynamic center is less. So y is less than x. But L2 is more than L1. Correct? Now, if we take moments, in first case, moment will be lift 1. This is the force lift 1 into the distance from the aerodynamic center to the center of pressure from where the lift is acting. L1 into x. That will be equal to. In second case, this is the L2. L2 into y is equal to M1. So the moment at the aerodynamic center will not change. So that point where the moment is constant, even though the uh, angle of attack is increasing or decreasing, that point is called as aerodynamic center. It is generally at 25% aft. That means the position will be at one, one fourth of the total length. Correct? One fourth of the total length. So you see there are many points which you have to learn about the aerodynamic center. But this is the basic concepts which will help you understand the longitudinal stability of a craft. Correct? So if you understand this concept and this chapter will be super easy. So good luck. Signing off.